In this video, I will show you how you can import existing games inside Heroic Game Launcher, how you can add custom games that are not part of the Epic or GOG store to the launcher, and even how you can run custom Windows applications that are not games, because it's just a launcher that uses Wine in the background. We will play one of those games that we installed and it will be a real classic this time. Now before we start, welcome to the channel. Here you can find topics about Linux, Docker, game dev or software development in general, or short, agile dev art. If you like that kind of content, then give a like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. All the necessary links from this video are down in the description and also down there are the timestamps, so you can skip any part if you want. I already launched the Heroic Game Launcher. In the previous video I showed you how to install this one, step by step. I also showed you how to install additional tools like Mango Hut, like Game Mode, and how to download and run games from the Epic Game Store. So if you are interested how to set up Heroic Game Launcher, then you can check out the link to the video up there or down in the description. In this video we don't want to download a game. Let's say we already downloaded the game from the Epic Game Store and the game is somewhere on an external hard drive. For today's video I will go with the game Fist, because I already downloaded the game in the previous video. So let's go to Install. Up here you can see the size of the game and as you can already tell I don't have enough space to download the game. So the only option I have is to import the game from somewhere else. I will leave the wine settings as they are, wine prefix and wine version and go to import game. I already plugged in my external hard drive, here it is. And now under epic games, I have a few downloaded games here, all of those are from the epic game store. So let's go with fist, just go inside the folder and select choose. And that's basically it, it's imported and here it is. Let's take a quick look into the settings and other. I will enable eSync, FSync, Game Mode and Mango Hut to have a better performance. As said, I installed all the needed tools in the previous video, so if you're interested, the link to the video is down in the description. That's it, we can close that and let's run it. Game Mode active. Perfect, here is the game. Let's try to play it. Yes. Works just fine. Let's take those down. Perfect. Take those here. In the previous video I also did a Linux vs Windows gaming performance comparison. I played this game and I did a side by side comparison. There you will also see the performance metrics like this Mango Hut overlay with the FPS counter at the top. The video link is down in the description. So let's close this one. Now what if you want to play a game that's not inside Epic Store or GOG Store? Like Blizzard games for instance, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Diablo, Starcraft. Let's see how we can add those to the Heroic Game Launcher. I will choose a real classic for this one, StarCraft, but not StarCraft 2, but the first version. Download for Windows. Download complete. Now to add a custom game, select Add Game. Game title is StarCraft. I will leave everything else as it is. And first we need to run the installer. So run the installer. And let's find the exe. Here it is. Select. First you get this Vine Configure window. This one configures the Vine prefix. Let's install this one quickly. So first it's installing Battle.net. I don't want to launch at startup and continue. Let's wait for the installation. Alright, I will continue without logging in. Now we need to install StarCraft. No shortcuts and start install. I don't have Battle.net games yet. I'll skip the welcome screen. Now this is Battle.net launched from the Heroic Game Launcher. Down here you can see StarCraft is being downloaded. This can take some time. So for now, let's wait for the download. Installation complete, we can play it, but before we do that, let's first set up the launcher. Exit. Now we are back where we started, but this time StarCraft is installed inside this wine prefix, so the only thing left to do is to find the executable. So let's find it. The wine prefix is under games, heroic, prefixes, here it is, StarCraft, then C drive, and I know StarCraft is installed inside program files x86, Inside here is also Battle.net, but we want StarCraft. Here we can select the launcher, but I will select directly the StarCraft.exe that I want to run. 
and select. That's it, finish. And now here we have StarCraft. Let's take a look at the settings. E-Sync, F-Sync and Game Mode. We can close it and let's try it out, play. Now obviously I cannot bypass Battle.net, but it doesn't matter. I will continue without logging in and play StarCraft. This brings up memories. Let's go with Protoss. Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for Let's the loss of mighty Tassadar. This brings me back to my childhood. Let's see. Mm. So be it. It will be done. I do this for Iron. It will be done. So be it. Still feels awesome. These riders come out. More than 20 years. This was the stem of lower third reinforcement. years ago I played this one for days. But let's close this for now. And mission, exit, and close Battle.net. So this is how you add games to Heroic Game Launcher that are not part of the Epic Store or GOG Store. Now you can also add custom Windows programs to the Heroic Game Launcher, because it's just a launcher. So let's install a Windows program. For this video let's take a simple one. Let's take Notepad++, which is available only for Windows. But of course this method that I will show you should work for other Windows programs as well. So let's download this one. The latest version. Download. Perfect. Download complete. We can close this. And now the procedure is more or less the same as adding games. Go to add game. The title is Notepad PP for plus plus. I will leave everything on default and select run installer. And now select the Notepad plus plus installer. First you get the wine prefix setup. Now let's install that one. Welcome. I will just go with the defaults. Next and install. I don't want to run it yet. And finish. Now we installed Notepad++ in this Wine prefix right here. And the only thing left is to select the executable. So let's find it. Inside prefixes. Here is the Wine prefix folder. And then we installed it inside C drive, program files, Notepad++. And here it is, notepad++.exe. Select and finish. Here it is. Let's check the settings. Usually what you would need with Windows programs is the Wine config. This one is the Wine configuration of this Wine prefix right here, where the application is installed. So let's check some things. Windows version is OK. Then staging. I will enable the GTK theming, because I am running the GNOME desktop environment. Then under desktop integration, I will select the light theme. Apply and OK. If you need to install some additional Windows DLLs, then down here you have Wine Tricks, and this one will use this Wine Prefix folder as the default prefix. In this case, for Notepad, we already have everything we need, so we can close settings and let's run it. 
And here it is, Notepad++. Let's try it out quickly. Seems to work just fine. All characters, delete everything. Language, let's say C sharp for each sub in subscribers. Big thank you. Subscribe. And that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you like my content, if you think it's helpful, then please give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.